Anşalavan, Kala Yaha Başım Yavşa Başım Rakakıtaş. Davulun son diye Allah sefası azur kayıt mutlu anşalavan sizin size akıya mutlum the work of Yaha Başım Yavşa. Giving one unto the flock, unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, you're the twelve tribes. And those of you being scattered among these nations, wake the fuck up. Alright, stop attaching yourselves to the ways and the customs of these nations. Come and save Yaha Başım Yavşa. Uh, it's a very quick response to this uh, this Elamite uh, for calling uh, Cyril Ramaphosa, uh, so the South African president, a Hamite, calling me k uh, for calling me Kafir. Uh, because this Elam actually thinks he's better than, than Ham. But it's all what? Uh, according to the will of Yah Bashim uh, all flesh will soon start consent consenting at, onto its own kind very soon. Alright. Because all the intents okay and the minds of men are being made manifest, are being revealed right now. Okay. Everyone is, is about to turn to his own kind. Okay. Because we're heading straight for, 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 for the day of vengeance. And that day is going to be upon all nations. It's not going to be only you Israelites who are going to be two thirds are going to be fucking be catching hell. Right? Jacob's trouble is not going to be only Jacob's trouble unto Yasharala. But all nations, you're going to feel the wrath of Yahweh Shmiel Shai. So, so, but that one in 15. Over that one in fifteen says, For the day of the Lord it is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head, going to what to Esau. Because this what is the main what? The main objective. Okay, in this upcoming uh, uh, World War Three. Okay, at the day of the Lord, the main enemy that's gonna be be running to and fro, uh, not running to and fro, that's gonna be the main enemy. The main objective is going to be Esau, because uh, there's nobody who has been fucked up. Uh, uh, the, the main common uh, denominator that has ended up making these heathens fucked up is Esau. Okay, over that, it's like uh, Job 9 and 24 says, What the earth has been given into the hands of the wicked, covering the faces of the judges thereof. Uh, and that's beside the point. The point is what is the day of the Lord is upon all the heathens. Right upon all the heathens, my cover five and fifteen says, uh, says, I will execute vengeance in mine anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they have not heard. Uh, because these race wars, race riots that are coming, they're going to be on a very high scale and on, on a very unprecedented levels. All right, all you Elamites, you go anywhere. Okay, you, you can go to, to the islands, you're going to find Elam. You go to Madagascar, you're going to find Elam. Elam is all over, man. Okay. He's also a, a partaker of, of the glory of, of Babylon. Okay. Making himself like unto the whore that is hated. Okay. Just like we see Ammon and Moab. Okay. All these nations are all what? Following after the, uh, the ways of Esau. Thinking that they're, uh, thinking that they're better than anyone. Uh, meanwhile, the only uh, uh, the holy nation, which is more special than any heathen, okay, which are the sons of Jacob, you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, we are now finding finding ourselves in a very low state right now. Uh, if anyone should brag and be proud, okay, have the authority to be calling you heathens for what you are, nothing but but nonsense, nothing but vile pieces of vomit, are uh, the Israelites. Okay, you have no authority. Uh, you're the scum. A grown as fucking man with no fucking hair on his face, on his fucking head. Bold as fuck. A bald headed piece of shit. And you, you forgot how you got here in South Africa. Escaping fucking hunger in India. Now you, you had some crumbs for me, so you you were able to, to think have this mentality as if you're better than, than these Hamites. Guess what? They they're coming for you. Ah, okay. They still remember what, what uh, Mahatma Gandhi said 
when he when he was uh, visiting South Africa during the, the apartheid era, says, "Look, man, stop, stop my my pe stop treating my people like these coffers." Okay. The, those separate, uh, those uh, boundaries, okay, those divisions are going to be made more and more manifest, and that's going to lead up into a race riot. Okay, it's not going to only be between so-called uh, Africans against Edomites, against these Hamites, against Edomites. It's going to be Elam against. Hey, it's going to be one hell of a mix, mix, because uh, this place is a melting pot. South Africa is a filthy as melting pot. Okay, for all these different ethnicities. Uh, because when all hell break loose, all you nations, you're going to get the judgment of Yahab, Hashemir, Hashem, Risu. And Elam, you're not going to escape. You East Indians, uh, Elam. Okay, you're not going to escape. This uh, Jeremiah 49, verse 34 says, The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet against Elam in the beginning of the reign of uh, Zedekiah, the king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might. And upon, because uh, you still were elevated in, in your so-called technology advancement, uh, you are you up there with the pack, with the leaders. Uh, when you look at the economy situation here in South Africa, you're leading, man. Okay. Only second in command to, uh, to, to Esau. You're up there. That's why you still have this pride. But it's going to be brought low very soon. It's all going to be brought low. Man. Okay. All these different spoils. Okay. The vintage of the wicked. All of that is going to come to a fucking halt. Uh, all these businesses. All these cooptas. All these nonsense. Man. It's all going to come to a halt. Okay. Says, uh, says, uh, and upon Elam will I bring forth. So Jeremiah 49 verse 35 says, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, because I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might. And upon Elam will I bring four winds from the four, from the four quarters of heaven, and I will scatter them towards all uh, those winds, and there shall be no nation whither the outcast of Elam shall not come. You go to what uh, to yeah. You go to to the islands. You're gonna find Elam over there, doing his thing. Cause he's seeking what uh, he's seeking that that uh, uh, that money, uh, and and uh, that success is going is going to be brought low. Okay, when the day of the Lord comes, neither silver or gold will will, will be uh, will will be able to, to to save either any of you nations, man. Uh, Cause the Most High is angry with all you nations, man. He has a beef with all you nations. Because uh, Isaiah 14 says, Well, all you nations, you are. You are less than nothing. Okay. You're all less than nothing. And it's going to be made manifest very soon. Thinking that your, 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 uh, your feces does not stink. It does. Okay. Half monkey, half man worshiper. Thinking you're better than anybody. Meanwhile, you, you arrest like all these heathen nations. All of you heathens here are low. Okay. It says uh, verse 37 says, for, for I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies. You got enemies. Okay. And one of the, your enemies is what? These Hamites. Okay. They're going to get you. Mainly Canaan. Okay, these Canaanites, aka South Africans. They're going to get you, boy. Uh, all the nonsense, all the benefits you had while Esau was still in, in rulership, when, when the economy crashed, when, when the lights goes out, hey man, you're gonna be fucked very soon. Okay, you're gonna be fucked very soon. Uh, and Esau's laws are not gonna save you. Uh, Esau's laws are not gonna save you in, in that day. Uh, they're not gonna save you in that day. Says for I will cause Elam to be dis to, to be dismayed before all their enemies, and before them that seek their life, and I will bring evil upon them, even my fierce anger, saith the Lord, and I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them. Says and I will set my my throne in Elam, and will destroy from thence the king. And the princes saith the Lord, because because this upcoming uh, rulership that's coming, 
okay israelites we're going to be in rulership all you nations you're all going down hamites okay edomites all you nations man ishmaelites all of you what, what whatever little form of autonomy that you still have for through through uh through esau the dealings that you have of esau all of that is going to be taken away from you all right because the, the new rulership the eternal uh, everlasting kingdom is going to be of the 12 tribes all right all you nations you're going down and your pride hey is going to be brought low you're going to know okay there's only one true god and the god of the israelites okay his name is yahweh in son's name is yahweh shah every knee will bow down and will confess and every, and, every, and, every, and, every, and every single time very soon okay so uh, uh, that's the point man okay let me get another scripture get another scripture in the book of proverbs and close off okay This is our book of Proverbs 16 and uh, 16 and 18 says pride go says pride goeth before destruction and haughty spirit before a fall. All right. This is just pride right now, and you and you going straight for your own demise, just like Esau. Alright. In the days of these kings shall the most of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be removed, neither be destroyed any more. An everlasting kingdom. Elam you going down, Ham you going down, Esau, Edom, so called white men going down, Ishmael, the so called Arabs are going down, Emin and Moab, okay, Japanese and Chinese, you all going down, the Jephites going down, all you nations you going down, okay, every single last one of you, you going down. You're going to fall alongside with your pride. Okay, World War Three. Okay, but the elect are going to be saved. Okay, the elect of the nation of Yashar, the sons of Jacob, the 12 tribes, which are Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, these are the ones who are going to make it through this upcoming tribulation. And if you don't have the name of Yahab, Hashem, Yashar, wherever you've been scattered, soon to the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 64, you want to die alongside the, unsec un the uncircumcised. Okay. That's how things are going to go down. Alright. In fact, there's another one. It's uh, Ezekiel. Let's get another one. Ezekiel 30. It's uh, the book of Ezekiel 30, 32. Verse 24. It says... There is Elam and all her multitude round about her grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, which are gone down and circumcised into the, into the nether parts of the earth, which causeth their terror in the land of the living. Yet have they borne their shame with them that go down to the pit. Or right. just like we see Elam, or your pride that you have with this uh of going straight uh, specifically referring to to India okay where you, where you came from uh, the land of the most I've given unto you Elamites because uh, you got all you're going to be aligned with uh, with, uh, with Russia okay with Emma and Moab with uh, with uh, with uh, what you call these guys with the Ishmaelites all these align, ally, allies okay you're going to go down in World War Three, just like even among all these nations you have uh, You've, you've went and looking for 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 all these uh filthy riches of Esau the best you can that you can get okay the spoils you're gonna go down harshly okay you're gonna go down okay because the most high he has a very he what he has a what a, a score that it must be settled with all you heathen nations not even a single one heathen Nation is going to escape judgment of Yahweh Hashem Okay, all praises unto 